All right. Welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. I hope you can hear me clearly because I'm not in my setting. I'm actually using my phone to film this video right here. Let me put these glasses on to make myself look smart and to block those lights from out of my eyes so I don't keep on wincing like this. Because I want you to really hear what I have to say. Now, if you think, if you think for a second that that interaction, altercation with Will Smith and Chris Rock at the Oscars yesterday was real, then you're slow. You're really slow. Either you're really slow or they hit bullseye. They know exactly what they needed to do in order to get black folks to watch the Oscars, to interact with the Oscars, and to trend the Oscars across cultural lines for days and weeks and months and even years to come. Because if you believe that Will Smith, the consummate gentleman Will Smith, who never loses his cool Will Smith, if you believe that Will Smith lost all bearings, got on the Oscar stage, a prestigious stage like the Oscar, where, by the way, they don't really think much of black people at the Oscars anyways. And I'll get to that in a minute. If you think that Will lost his mind, got up there and smacked the daylights out of the host on the live Oscar, and then was awarded a Oscar, you're as slow as they come. Wasn't that Will Smith's first Oscar? Was it? Okay, let me drag your memory a little bit. Okay, 2016, what happened? What happened in 2016? There were a lot of things happening in America in 2016. We're now in 2022. And a lot of us have what we call a short memory span. Okay, so in 2016, it was like an explosion in the United States of America. Police officers were predominantly white. Police officers were killing, executing black men and women, women, but black men were being executed by police officers. Hey, a simple traffic stop. Show me your driver's license registration. And he goes to reach for his driver's license registration where we normally keep it, which is in the glove compartment, right? Pop, 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 pop. Shots fired, shots fired, man down. Why'd you shoot him? Ah, he was reaching for something. I was in fear of my life. Up, oh, case dismissed. One after the other after the other. There started to become a big racial divide in the United States of America. Walk with me. The big racial divide at the time was blue lives matter. No, black lives matter. Here comes the rise of the black lives matter movement counteracted by the rise of the blue lives matter movement. And in a lot of places, a lot of times, wherever you saw the Blue Lives Matter movement, you would also see stickers that said, do not resist or allow law enforcement to do their job. That kind of stuff, right? And even if you said to some people like, hey man, he got stopped because his left taillight was out. He ended up dead. They would simply just say to you, well, he shouldn't have resisted, right? So there, there was this uh, undercurrent of a lot of stuff going on. I want you to go look this up. At that same time, everything came to a head. People were taking stock of who was riding with the black community versus who was not, right? And the Oscar was no different. It was 2016 when Will and Jada Smith decided they were going to boycott the Oscars. It wasn't just them. It was a long list of people that boycotted the Oscars that year. They decided to not attend, and they also decided to speak out on social media. Funny enough, when I went to go search this morning, and I searched Will Smith, Jada Smith, boycott the Oscars, it was on the sixth or seventh page of Google search. Because it was buried by all that took place yesterday. All the headlines today are about Will Smith's feud with Chris Rock is before the 2022 Oscars. It goes way back. Will Smith felt disrespected or he felt like his wife was disrespected. Did Will Smith 
violate the Oscars code of ethics and could he possibly lose his Oscar award? It was all this, all this type of stuff that and it's just trending and it's going page one, page two, page three, page four. That is how much it is trending. Do y'all remember when black people were willing to say, I don't even want to watch football anymore, right? Because Colin Kaepernick, all he did was take a knee and they criminalized it. They turned it into, oh, he's disrespecting the troops. Now, mind you, I myself, I'm an immigrant. As you see that flag right there, I'm an immigrant. I also proudly serve. I am a U.S. Army Infantry Combat Veteran myself as well. As an immigrant, right, proudly served, born in Jamaica, raised between Jamaica and the United States of America, did most of my growing up here in the U.S. Why should we not have a right to exist as we are, right? Okay, Colin took a knee, and they turned it into... He was disrespecting the troops. I didn't feel disrespected. And if you asked any troop as a person of color, they would have told you, no, I didn't feel disrespected either. Let me tell you what was disrespectful to us. Disrespectful was when I came home fresh out of a combat zone off an infantry team. If you know what the infantry does in combat, fresh off of that. And I arrived in the United States of America and I got home. And I woke up one early morning just trying to get my thoughts together. And I jumped in my vehicle and I drove over to the other side of town where the beach is. There are multi-million dollar homes on that side of town as well. A police officer pulls me over. Mind you, on the back of my truck, it says U.S. Army combat veteran. It says uh, infantry it says, because I was proud, as soon as I came home, I slapped my stickers on, you know, and he goes, first question was, is this your truck? And I said, yes, it is. Uh, this is after he asked for my driver's license registration. Is this your truck? I said, yes, it is. But in my mind, I'm saying to myself, and it was a white officer, in my mind, I'm saying to myself, well, you can easily run my driver's license, right? And you will find out that that truck and the license plate on this vehicle is registered to me. And I am the person who matches the picture ID driver's license I just gave you. Same information is on my registration, my home address, etc. But I didn't feel like arguing. I immediately felt threatened because of what was happening around us at that time. So I said, okay, I'm going to ease my way out of this one. I'm going to yes, sir, no, sir. That right there, my friend, is what feels disrespectful and threatening to us as troops to go bust our ass, risk our lives overseas on a combat field and then come home. And because you're not wearing the uniform, you're treated like shite. But if you had the uniform on, you'd be treated differently. Why? I know that because I am treated differently in uniform than I am out of uniform. I'm treated differently if I pull a military ID out than if I pull a civilian driver license out, ID out, right? Anyhow, remember Colin Kaepernick took a knee and they criminalized it, right? Well, it's the same thing that happened with the Oscar. The Oscars was shunned by black people, just like how football was shunned by black people for quite some time until they came to some kind of a settlement with Colin Kaepernick. Now, black people on a whole, we're so easily bought, easily sold, so somebody leaked some information and said, Colin Kaepernick, he was just a sham. He was just doing it for the money. Uh, he got paid a whole lot of money behind the scenes. He doesn't even have to play football anymore. He was never really into football anyways. It was a scam to get to some money, and he used y'all. And there are a lot of black people out there that believe that. But if you're a person that believe in truth and you follow Colin, you will know that to this day, he is dedicated to the same cause. And he has so many different things going on. Just go look up his foundation and all that. I don't have to get into that right now, right? But they wanted us. See, black people, you got to understand this, man. You are the meat and gravy and potatoes of the thing. You are the sauce. You are the one that is saucy that comes with the sauce. You bring the attitude. You bring the flavor. You are the sugar. You are the spice. You are the one. Without you, it's bland. Without you, it's like 
Uh, how should I say it? You know how they make their potato salad with raisins in it? Yeah. Without you, it's flavorless. And they have to figure out a way. You are the mass consumer. You are the person. It is a proven fact that the black community is the community that makes the most money. Yet, they are the community that also holds on to the least amount of their earnings. Allowing their earnings to be spent or goes to another community outside of their own. Hmm. How do we get these folks back in? How do we get them back on board? Aha. They love drama. They love drama. We don't want to do boring and constructive. We want to do drama. So what better way than to bring Will Smith, your ace actor, who can do no wrong, who is very credible. If Will Smith says to black people that, hey, the skies are red, a lot of us would say, yeah, maybe I need to go get my glasses fixed because if Will is seeing it red, then it must, it's, it must be red. Will Smith is like that. Denzel Washington is like that. They hold that level of credibility among their people, right? Uh, he's from South Philly, and he made it to Hollywood. Born and raised on a playground where I spent most of my days, we grew up with him, right? Chilling all max and relaxing by the pool. Will and uh, his sidekick, his, his homeboy, his DJ, his friend. I forgot his name right now. DJ Jazzy Jeff and a Fresh Prince. Okay. They needed to get us back in. And the way that Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith were very vocal in 2016 about boycotting the Oscars and about speaking up because they spoke up and they said something along these lines, not paraphrasing, but you can go look it up, not quote unquote, but paraphrasing. But basically it was 2016 was hashtag Oscars so white. 2016. Hashtag Oscars so white. Go look it up. Go Google it. Just Google 2016 hashtag Oscars S O so white. W H I T E. And in that time, I remember Will Smith had an interview with a British press and he said, There's something that's going on um, in, the, in, in our country right now and it is being reflected. In Hollywood, the long list of stuff I just told you about that was going on at the time. And it's being reflected in Hollywood. And they were basically looking at us like, we don't deserve Oscars. We can't act. You had white actors who actually came out and spoke up on behalf of and said, hey man, it's kind of hard to sit up here, you know, and collect this award. I forgot who did it. He's welcome to the barbecue anytime and said, hey, it's hard. It's kind of hard to sit up here and collect this award knowing that a stellar piece of work was done by so-and-so, yet they're not even nominated. And I'm starting to really think that maybe this isn't about just our acting skills. You understand? So how could Will and Jada... Two big stars publicly shamed the Oscars for being too white and in 2016 and then show up in 2022 and collect an Oscar. It wouldn't look good. Another thing, when these people are awarded Oscars, they are notified before that they are going to win the Oscar. Okay? That's why you see some of them come with a long speech that's already prepared. And then you'll have some that say, I didn't have, I didn't have time to prepare a speech uh, because, uh, and they're so flustered. But every now and then, watch, a prepared speech will roll out. Well, how the hell you prepare the speech? Are you that sure of yourself? Oh, because I was told that I was nominated, so I did a winner speech because I believe in myself. Bullshit. Bullshit. They're given ahead of time what it is. Will Smith and Chris Rock go to guys to pull the black community back in to the Oscars. No question about it. 
That slap, punch, whatever it was, was well rehearsed. Well rehearsed. And it was going to be only a one take. And Chris, if you got hit really hard that time, then we just going to have to take it like a one take. And do it. I'm not doing that scene over again because I'm not getting hit like that again. And that's what happened. So for the black people out there who are thinking that, oh my God, Will Smith, and that's exactly what they want you to do, man. I prove it all the time on my channel only. Look, I will do constructive material, right? How to earn extra money outside of your income now. How to set up uh, different streams of income how to earn money online, how to this, how to that. And those views, those videos, mental health in the black community, those videos get very little views. If I do a video about who got killed today or who is screwing whose wife or who got caught cheating or who and who, what two celebrities were seen fighting and one got knocked out and all this, watch the views go all the way through the roof. That's when I can really say, damn, there's really over 300,000 subscribers on this channel because they all tune in. But they don't tune into stuff that's sensible. So I'm telling you right now, take it for what it is because it was all acting. But it was orchestrated. And I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, Jada and Jada has this thing with her hair that allowed, that's making her lose hair or her hair is thinning. So she decided to go bald and his, her husband feels uh, offended that his wife was, th stop it. You guys were the same people the other day when Will said a couple of things that were like, damn, I guess that affair with uh, August Alcina uh, really hurt you. Well, we'll go get some counseling. And every time Will did an interview, Will was almost canceled recently. Every time Will did an interview, it was, oh my God, listen, I'm tired of seeing Will Smith now. I'm tired of hearing from him again. We don't want to hear no more Will Smith. We'll go sit in the corner somewhere. Like that. Last night was his opportunity to kill about four birds with one stone, as my grandmother would say. So he would raise his credibility again, uh, away from being canceled, back to being the it guy among his people first. And that is how Hollywood draws you to the cinema. Then Will Smith leading roles will come again, and he'll be paid the big handsome prices, uh, money to act these roles, knowing that you guys will abandon all the other Black movies, shows, whatever, and tune into wherever Will is at and Jada is at, right? Chris Rock as well is a part of it. He knows that and he was used as well. And it's all orchestrated to get you back to the Oscars, just like how they got you back to football after they disrespected you. Real men stand when the flag plays and you got scared. And you were like, damn, but um, on one side, I want to kneel down because, you know, um, I feel the pressure when I get pulled over. I'm, we the only people that are actually scared when we drive out of our homes or our children leave home in the car. Your teenage son takes the car and you're like, God, please, you say a prayer, please bring him back. And I remember a Caucasian friend of mine, female, said, she said, Jesus Christ. I was at Kaiser University at the time, right? I, she said, Jesus Christ. You know, um, I've never had to say a prayer when my son took the car and left. I've never had to get in the car and say a prayer. I'm never worried when I hear the police or see the police behind me. So I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about and I truly cannot relate. And for that alone, I feel some type of way. It's what she said. And I said, okay, your beginning to hit a level of consciousness that I can relate to, right? And your honesty, I respect you for that. I'm going to leave this one right here. Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me if you have bought into, oh, Will Smith smacked the shit out of, uh, uh, out of Chris Rock. Did you see it? Yo, and he was dissing Jada. And yo, they've been fighting forever, ever since before the Oscars. They got long-standing beef, yo. And this is... Are you caught up in that reality TV show setting? Like Real Husbands of uh, Atlanta or Real Housewives of Atlanta or, or <laughs> are you Hip Hop Housewives? Are you caught up in all that? 
or was this a game to you as well and you saw through it i'll catch you on the next video man and again like i said my computers are being worked on i have some issues going on with them and we'll be back up and running again from my actual streaming camera and my computers all right but stay tuned we'll still get you material out through my phone catch you on the next video i'm out peace